What is going on guys, D-Money back again, bringing you guys another defensive scheme. This is out of the cover two playbook in the nickel three D end formation. It's the odd overload three and the odd overload blitz. Now this is a nano blitzing scheme with a zone blitz and a man blitz. So the first one is the zone blitz, the cover three blitz, and there's really no setup to this. You're simply just going to take the corner on the left hand side and just kind of move him down slightly. And you'll see that you're gonna get pressure in there just about every single time. And I know the number one thing that people wanna know was does this work in slide protection? And that is what I go over. This is an unstoppable blitz, unslidable. You can block the running back. You're only sending five people. So you're gonna send five people simply off the left hand side. You can slide protect to the left. You can block the running back. Regardless of what you try to do, you're still going to get left side heat from a corner or an A-gap blitz from your middle linebacker. And that's basically how it works for a zone. It is completely unstoppable. In order to really get this play to work though, you want to make sure that the running back is on the other side of the quarterback. So if you're blitzing on the left hand side, make sure the running back's on the right. If, if he's on the left, just flip the play. Like I said, you don't have to make an adjustment. You literally just have to flip the play and you'll be fine. Um, it's really that easy. Now, I'm able to run this play, like I said. You can block the running back, you can slide protect, and regardless of what you do, you're going to get in. And sometimes slide protecting and blocking the running back is actually not going to help your case because when running offense against this play, you generally have more time when you don't block the running back or when you don't slide protect. Because if you do slide protect to the left, Nine times out of 10, the middle linebacker is gonna come screaming through the gap and hit you within like two seconds of snapping the ball. And if you don't slide protect, they, he normally gets picked up and you get hit on the left-hand side, which takes a little bit longer. Um, besides that, really, there's no problem with this play. I mean, that's not even a problem. You're just gonna get in a little bit slower if he doesn't slide protect, which is fine. The way to get around that is just to move your corner a little bit closer to the lineman and that is going to allow your your um, linebacker to get in just like that right there. So I really hope that you guys enjoy the zone part of this play. I tend to run a lot more zone than I would man. Now we're going to jump into the man. Same exact formation. It's the odd overload blitz and right here it's actually sending in six people. So what we do. And this doesn't really change anything. Um, no, you're sending five. I'm sorry. You're sending in. Okay, I, I apologize again. You're sending in six people. But what we do is we take the lineman on the right hand side and we put him in a yellow zone to help across the middle of the field. And you see, just like in the overload three, you're still going to get left side pressure and you're going to get in there for the sack every single time. Now, when running this play with a slide protection, it's still going to get in on the left hand side. It's literally just like the odd overload three. You're still going to get the heat on the left hand side. Now, when your opponent blocks the running back, that's not going to help him at all. Against man, when you're sending in a blitz, you're going to be sending in six people every single time on this blitz when running man, simply because the, the running back is blocked, so that means that the person that was covering him is going to be blitzing in. So you're actually sending in six if your opponent does block the running back. And you see that this works against five, so blocking six and us sending six, the pressure is still going to get in there. As you guys see, off the left side, off the left gap and through the A gap, you're going to get the pressure inside every single time. I do not know what this play is like against the run. If I had to assume, running to the left side is probably extremely dangerous. It's probably really hard to do. Like I said, guys, if you know where your opponent's running the ball, if you know where he's passing the ball, flip the play. To be completely honest with you, I do like to run this blitz facing the quarterback's hand. So when he's running it, if he's passing it to the right side, or if he's a right-handed passer, I would like to run the blitz on the right-hand side so that you hit him in the front, causes more injuries. On the other hand though, running it on the left-hand side can cause more fumbles simply because you're hitting him in the back and that could definitely help out your case when it comes to a turnover battle in the game. But guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. 
I really hope that you guys enjoy this this scheme, this defensive scheme. I want to put this in my nano blitzing uh, defensive uh, customized playbook. It's definitely going to be in there. There's definitely going to be more gameplay with it. So guys, this was D Money, and I'm out. Part of this play, I tend to run a lot more zone than I would man. Now we're going to jump into the man. Same exact formation. It's the odd overload blitz, and right here. It's actually sending in six people. So what we do, and this doesn't really change anything. Um, no, you're sending five. I'm sorry. You're sending in. Okay, I, I apologize again. You're sending in six people. But what we do is we take the lineman on the right hand side, and we put him in a yellow zone to help across the middle of the field. And you see, just like in the overload three, you're still going to get left side pressure, and you're going to get in there for the sack every single time. Now, when running this play. With a slide protection, it's still going to get in on the left-hand side. It's literally just like the odd overload three. You're still going to get the heat on the left-hand side. When running offense against this play, you generally have more time when you don't block the running back or when you don't slide protect. Because if you do slide protect to the left, nine times out of ten, the middle linebacker is going to come screaming through the gap and hit you within like two seconds of snapping the ball. And if you don't slide protect, they, he normally gets picked up and you get hit on the left hand side which takes a little bit longer um, besides that really there's no problem with this play I mean that's not even a problem you're just going to get in a little bit slower if he doesn't side protect which is fine the way to get around that is just to move your corner a little bit closer to the lineman and that is going to allow your, your um, linebacker to get in just like that right there so I really hope that you guys enjoy the zone you can block the running back regardless of what you try to do you're still going to get left side heat from a corner or an a gap blitz from your middle linebacker and that's basically how it works for a zone it is completely unstoppable in order to really get this play to work though you want to make sure that the running back is on the other side of the quarterback so if you're blitzing on the left hand side make sure the running backs on the right if, if he's on the left just flip the play like I said, you don't have to make an adjustment. You literally just have to flip the play and you'll be fine. Um, it's really that easy. Now, I'm able to run this play. Like I said, you can block the running back. You can slide protect. And regardless of what you do, you're going to get in. And sometimes slide protecting and blocking the running back is actually not going to help your case. Because what is going on, guys? D-Money back again bringing you guys another defensive scheme this is out of the cover two playbook in the nickel three d end formation it's the odd overload three and the odd overload blitz now this is a nano blitzing scheme with a zone blitz and a man blitz so the first one is the zone blitz the cover three blitz and there's really no setup to this you're simply just going to take the corner on the left hand side and just kind of move him down slightly and you'll see that you're going to get pressure in there just about every single time and I know the number one thing that people want to know was does this work in slide protection and that is what I go over this is an unstoppable blitz unslidable you can block the running back you're only sending five people so you're gonna send five people simply off the left hand side you can slide protect to the left side now when your opponent blocks the running back that's not going to help him at all against man when you're sending in a blitz you're going to be sending in six people every single time on this blitz when running man, simply because the the running back is blocked. So that means that the person that was covering him is going to be blitzing in. So you're actually sending in six if your opponent does block the running back. And you've seen that this works against five. So blocking six and us sending six, the pressure is still going to get in there. As you guys see off the left side, off the left gap and through the a gap you're going to get the pressure inside every single time i do not know what this play is like against the run if i had to assume running to the left side